A big city problem is getting marathon tech support tonight. Programmers and computer code writers will work through the evening to find a solution. The goal of this hackathon is to help people dealing with hunger and food insecurity. As David McAnally explains, there might soon be an app for that. Right now they're getting the ground rules, but it's going to be an awfully long night for these folks as they figure out ways to solve a major city problem. Belinda and her son Raymond head home from an east side store. Pop and candy, yeah, just, you know, goodies. I mean, they're a little costly, but, you know, they have what you need. Yeah, they don't have fresh foods, obviously, but, yeah, I wish we did around here. But it's convenient. Within a block here on East 10th. There's a mini mart there. There's the food shop over here. They're small. They're small. We need more convenient. We need, like, a grocery store in between that's convenient for all the, especially senior citizens that can't get to and from. Could there be an app for that? App designers from all around will spend 24 hours in Indy competing to design the winning app that helps connect Indianapolis folks needing food-related services. So that we can build that kind of form stuff very quickly. Oh, yeah. He and his former intern, Taylor, teaming up to take on the Food App Challenge, this year's Civic Hack Project sponsored by Indy Chamber. Okay, okay, so a list of vendors. The lack of reasonably priced, nutritious food in some areas is even linked to crime. IMPD, EMS, and Indianapolis Fire are at Gleaners Care Mobile Summer Food Pantries. Nobody cares about your code. Nobody cares about the technology. They just care that it does something good. For a group from Carmel High, it's what our club does, Code for Change. We're all about working within the community with nonprofits. Since we're tackling a problem within the community, I think it's important to try to see different ways like we can make a difference. Here's the truth. We have maybe 170,000 residents of our community who are hungry. A third of them kids, the mayor says. That's why we're I'm excited. I really am. Neighbors excited, too. Because the east side really needs that. They're going to be working through the night, and the winning team will get a chance to make a pitch to the city to get a grant to fund their app for use on the real city streets. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.